what happens when you essentially create a trilogy of books that get turned into a trilogy of films? You release a trilogy on Blu-ray. Yes, we've got the Robert Langdon three-movie set of Inferno, The Da Vinci Code, and Angels and Demons here on Blu-ray. I don't... Oh, an ultra... Does it also have an ultraviolet code? Um, I don't know if this was maybe a Walmart exclusive. I, I can't remember. But I did get it from Walmart. So, this is the Canadian release because it's got all the Canadian thingies on it. But let's open it up and see what's going on inside. Okay, there is the front cover. This did not come with a slip cover. It does not have a slip cover. It's not a slip cover type of release. And then boom, we've got, apparently this is, I guess, a code, a code, the ultraviolet code for all three movies, one code. Go figure. And then we take a look, and right off the bat, it's Inferno, which is, you know, kind of, I guess it makes sense. It's not the first movie in the trilogy, which is odd, you would think that, but this came out at the same time Inferno was released, so... I guess that's what they were kind of featuring. Then you flip it over. Boom. So, yeah, they've gone in reverse order here. So, everybody knows when you're watching a trilogy, you start with the last film and work your way to the first film. Angels and Demons follows up, and then The Da Vinci Code being on the far right side. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, whatever. So, let's take a look at The Da Vinci Code. It is pressed. This is a very custom. I've never even seen a case quite like this. The case is fine, a little bit thicker, but this this middle insert, this is really thick. I've never seen one quite like this, um, which is interesting. That's the Da Vinci Code 10th Anniversary Blu-ray disc. I do believe, I think there might have been a two-disc Blu-ray DVD, maybe something like that put out for the Da Vinci Code. Oh, okay, that's interesting. So, you got to be careful. It kind of gets, if when you're putting it in, this tray here kind of overlaps the left-hand side. So, you kind of, I guess you got to slip it in. Huh. So, also pressed for angels and demons. And I shouldn't really have to check, but I will because that's what I do here. Pop this open. Pressed for Inferno. I kind of dig this. It's... Admittedly, where, where these type of cases normally break, I'll put this disc back in here so it doesn't get wrecked, is not on, not this particular piece, not this middle piece, but the actual tabs that it slots into. So making this a beefier type plastic, I don't know that that's necessary. It's more the, the tabs that it goes into, but whatever. This is a pretty beefy, solid thing. I guess it keeps it from getting getting pressed down yeah yeah fills up the space so essentially it's a void filler um, but I, I honestly I, I think you could save some money by not using all that plastic to create the exact same packaging because um, yeah I it does make it feel heavier maybe that's what they're going for they're going for the illusion of making it heavy I don't know but anyways there you go the Robert Langdon three movie set of Inferno Angels and Demons and the Da Vinci Code, I guess in that order. I don't know. I, I don't Whatever. There you go. The Blu-rays, unbox. You know what's going on inside. In case you want to track down this particular release and don't want to get each individual movie, I don't know. It's, it's up to you. I, I, yeah. I am kind of an individual person, but eventually these types of films are just going to go on a hard drive and I'll watch them because I don't really need the physical copy uh, you know, I mean, yes, there are some extra features, I'm sure. Yes, there are some special features. Oh, of course, the special feature says it's in high definition. Right, because that's the special feature of the Blu-ray. That's another discussion. Anyways, yeah, not necessarily going to need to go through all these special, all of the special features. I guess I'm, I'm going to put that in quotation marks because I haven't actually looked at any of the discs, obviously, because I just opened it up. But yeah. Special features like this, uh, it says includes over two hours of added value, 
So I guess there's two hours of extras. Uh, anyways, like I was saying, these films are good, you know, watch them whenever, but I don't really, I'm not a super huge fan of them that I would want to be watching the extras over and over and over again. So one watch through, then you can, sh you know, essentially put it in into the system and, and watch it that way. That's the way I would think about this particular trilogy, in my honest opinion. Anyways, let me know if you've seen any of the films, all of the films, none of the films. Comment down below. Love to hear from you. Keep everything spoiler free, as always, like we do here on this channel as much as possible. Thanks for watching. Until next video, take care. Have a good one.